Have you ever wondered how you may develop to be a better version of yourself? You seem to be in a rut now. Imagine if I told you that the old stoic philosophy may release your genuine potential, therefore transforming not only your personal but also your love life. We will be closely exploring 10 great stoic principles today that will help you become more successful, fulfilled and appealing. Before we begin this journey, make sure you press the subscription button and thumbs up this video. You really should not miss this. It might change your life. Introduction to Stoicism and Personal Growth Imagine a young man named Alex caught in a rainbow of emotions after a tough breakup. His self-doubt and rejection overwhelm him. He wonders about his value. Realize this and you will discover strength one day when he comes over a Marcus. Aurelius quotation on social media stating, You have power over your mind not outside events. Interested, he investigates Stoicism and discovers nothing less than revolutionary. Stoicism teaches us to see that our reality is created by our beliefs. Accepting its values will help us to retrieve our strength and open the path of personal development. But how exactly could we apply Stoicism to develop individually and strengthen our relationships? Let's together look at these 10 ideas that change life. Chapter 1. Embrace the present moment, especially during times that count. Have you ever found yourself immersed in thoughts about the past or the future? Imagine this, one beautiful evening you are on a date with someone quite significant. The surroundings are perfect. Peaceful music plays in the background and the air smells like wonderful food. Still, your brain is racing rather than savoring the circumstances. You are going back over past relationships and wondering whether this date will produce anything more. This was reality for our friend Alex, who found he was struggling truly interacting with others. Often he found himself fixated on prior relationship mistakes, enabling those thoughts to skew his potential for present delight. All changed though, when he discovered the wisdom of Stoicism, particularly the concept of appreciating the present moment. The Stoic advice is that the present is our only truly free moment. Alex arrived to find that his obsession with past mistakes or future outcomes was depriving him of the pleasure of real connection. He decided to use another approach. He consciously sought to be present in his contacts, giving the person in front of him complete attention. As he started applying this concept, he saw an amazing transformation. He tucked his phone aside, glanced at his date, and paid great attention to her stories on his next date. He answered questions, laughed, and for the first time in a very long time he felt a real connection growing. This was about being present that exact moment, not about attempting to wow someone or worry about what will follow after. Think back on your personal memories. Have you ever gone on a date where you were absolutely present? How fantastic it was to actually connect with someone. Maybe your laughing enabled you both to forget about your surroundings. Accepting the present invites lifetime memories and tighter relationships. As Alex maintained becoming present, he discovered that his friendships and familial ties also grew better as well as his sexual interactions. He felt closer to his loved ones and enjoyed the everyday activities. When you truly accept the moment, you create the road for actual connections and amazing happenings. The next time you come across a noteworthy event, then breath deeply, let go of distractions, and fully submerge yourself into the experience. Am I here right now? You might ask. Let that inquiry be your compass and witness. How your relationships grow in hitherto, inconceivable directions. Chapter 2. Practice Gratitude Let us now investigate the second principle, cultivating gratitude. Have you ever found it really poignant to express thanks? How lately have you sat down to think on the good things in your life? Appreciation became for Alex a changing tool on his road of personal growth. First taught about Stoicism, Alex started a thank you journal. 
Every evening he would name three things for which he was happy. It first seemed like an annoyance, but as he continued he began to modify his perspective. He started to appreciate the small moments, the coziness of an early morning, cup of coffee, pals laughing or the majesty of a sunset. For a moment think about your own life. When you were especially grateful, do you remember a particular incident? Perhaps it was a nice evening spent with someone you love or one with a friend. Though we sometimes ignore them, those are priceless experiences. As Alex continued this habit, he found that thankfulness not only raised his mood but also changed his view on his relationships. Instead of focusing on what he lacked or what went wrong, he began to see the abundance of love and support all around him. His optimistic and grateful attitude from this new perspective drew people more. Imagine a date when your partner smiles, compliments you for your presence or even restaurant choice. That would evoke what? Being thankful starts a chain reaction whereby others are invited to follow suit. Those that inspire and improve others draw others. Thanks helps to surround one with positive influences. How then may you make gratitude part of your daily life? Start by forming a habit. Note three things each night before bed for which you are glad. It may be as simple as a text from a friend or a family laughing session. As you grow this habit, your perspective on life and love will radically change. As his gratitude exercise developed, Alex felt more near to his loved ones. He began freely expressing his thanks to his friends and relatives for so much they meant to him. From this clarity, stronger relationships and more love entered his life. Acknowledging the people in your surroundings invites them to demonstrate their love in turn. Chapter 3. Accept what you cannot control. The third idea we look at is acceptance more especially. Acceptance of what you cannot control. How often do we find ourselves fixated on happenings entirely beyond our reach? Learning to embrace the things Alex could not change altered his course of personal growth. After several disappointing dates, Alex started to doubt himself. He wondered why he couldn't find the right person since he believed he was not captivating enough or attractive. Afterwards he arrived upon even another stoic lesson the need of stressing our capacity for control, he discovered he could regulate his own actions, beliefs, and attitudes but not his appearance to others. For him, this realization established another universe. He began to pay more attention to his own growth than to the opinions of others. He pursued his interests, invested time in his hobbies, and gave personal growth first priority. He came to see he might encourage an honest version of himself even. If he is powerless over the feelings of another, look back to a moment in your own life when you faced an unmanageable situation. Perhaps it was a job loss, a friendship eroding, or a divorce. While spiraling into negativity is simple, acceptance helps you to regain your power. Alex came to find freedom in letting go of his need for validation and embracing acceptance. He began to focus more on really being his self than on attempting to satisfy others. This authenticity was appealing. He drew people who appreciated him for who he was, not for someone else. Imagine the relief from breaking free from outside expectations. Accepting what cannot be changed can assist you to welcome your road. Using this style of thought helps one approach. Relationships with such regard for mutual respect and understanding thereby allowing space for actual connections. Remember Alex's road? Then the next time you feel helpless against forces beyond your control, think about, what can I pick from this situation? Apply that realization to drive your resilience and development. Acceptance not only improves your love life, but also helps you to gracefully negotiate the challenges of daily life. Chapter 4. Cultivate Empathy the fourth principle is developing empathy. Have you ever been annoyed with someone you love because they just seem to not get your point of view? Imagine this, Sarah and her boyfriend 
Jake would often argue over little details. Their talks would go into conflict, leaving each feeling misinterpreted and offended. One evening, after a particularly heated discussion on their future plans, Sarah decided to back off. She remembered a vital stoic principle, the necessity of empathy. She tried to consider Jake's point of view instead of focusing simply on her own. Emotions. Think about your personal relationships. Have you ever found a situation whereby simply stopping to grab the other person changed everything? Perhaps that was a vulnerable moment when you found your partner was under stress you had not noticed. You build understanding by appreciating their challenges. As Sarah grew empathetic, her relationship evolved. Instead of assigning blame for misinterpretation, they started working together to find solutions. They developed honest communication, skills and expression of their feelings. Free from worry about criticism, empathy is going beside someone on their road not only about pity, it offers a safe environment where love could blossom and promotes trust. Think on how empathy could enrich your relationships. When was the last time you paused to really pay attention to a friend or a boyfriend? Imagine how powerful it would be if you stopped in every argument to find out. How does this person feel? This little adjustment could make issues. Opportunities for personal growth rather than conflicts. The next time you find yourself in dispute, try to see things from the other side. Empathy helped Sarah and Jake's relationship grow as well as their basis of love and respect changed. This concept reminds us that knowledge and compassion can assist us to close the spaces between us. So promoting deeper connections and a more satisfied love life. Chapter 5. Take responsibility for your actions. Let us now look at the fifth principle, own your actions. Have you ever found yourself in a situation when you felt justified in blaming someone else for your problems? Before he embraced responsibility, Jake lived in a situation when perhaps it was a shattered relationship when you pointed fingers, thinking if only they had acted differently, things would have been fine. Usually Jake felt himself locked in a frustrated cycle. He blamed Sarah right away for their issues after his divorce. If only she had understood me better, he remarked. Disregarding the part his own actions helped the relationship fail. Then he discovered, nevertheless, the stoic wisdom in owning his choices and behavior. He began to find he could control his responses even in cases where he had no say over the behaviors of others. Jake began to think about his role in the relationship and the times. He might have been more or less effective communicator. He chose to own his mistakes instead of dwelling on them. Go back to a time when you found it difficult to own your behavior. Maybe you overlooked the demands of your partner or failed to sufficiently explain. Although it can be embarrassing. The first step towards personal growth is always learning from our mistakes. As he started to take responsibility, Jake fundamentally changed his relationships. He started to truly apologize when he made mistakes and sought for improvement. This more responsibility impacted not just his relationship with Sarah, but also his behavior toward all those close by. People were won over by his honesty, and respect and understanding came from then. Imagine how liberated it feels to stop condemning others and focus on your own behavior. Every time you answer for yourself, you help yourself to grow. It reminds you that your choices can assist to define your relationships. Ask yourself, the next time you come across a conflict or difficult situation, what can I learn from this? This style of thinking enables you to develop from your past, thereby enhancing your connections and deepening your self-awareness. By embracing responsibility, Jake not only healed from his past relationship, but also developed as a partner in next endeavors. This concept encourages us to own our path and let love blossom in a setting of mutual respect and responsibility. Chapter 6. Strive for Continuous Improvement 
Let us now address the sixth principle, always aiming for development. In a relationship, have you ever felt as though you had reached a plateau? It can be frustrating, particularly in cases when you know more is possible. For Sarah, who started to feel as though her relationship with Jake was monotonous, this was the situation. Knowing this, Sarah chose to start with herself instead than assigning Jake responsibility for their lethargy. She drew a leaf from the Stoic playbook and saw that improving individually is only one component of self-improvement. Another is strengthening the relationships you respect. She started reading books on emotional intelligence, picked up other interests, and even started meditating. Her personal development was strengthened by the passions and insights she discovered as she engaged in herself. She also started to appeal to Jake more. When was the last time you dedicated time to advance personally or tried something different? Perhaps it was reading a provocative book, picking up a new ability, or enrolling in a dancing school. These encounters improve not only your life, but also provide fresh vitality for your relationships. As Sarah stayed on her road of personal development, she urged Jake to travel with her in investigating new interests. They tried out cooking courses, went on treks, and attended seminars. Their bond was rekindled by this same dedication to development, so transforming their partnership into an exciting trip. Starting a road of progress with your partner can energize you. This shared goal strengthens your relationship and encourages teamwork. It also helps you to find heretofore untapped new sides of each other. Every day presents opportunity for personal growth alongside one another. Motivational tools assist you to perceive your relationship as a continuing road rather than a destination. What can I learn today that will strengthen my relationship? You wonder? With only this simple question, one can make major progress. Concentrating on themselves and supporting each other to help each other grow. Sarah and Jake found as they embraced continuous improvement that their love expanded in ways they had not expected to create an exciting understanding and shared experience relationship. This concept reminds us that love is a dynamic energy living on progress and discovery. It is not fixed. So, committing yourself to personal development opens the route for a better Chapter 7. Embrace Vulnerability Now let us examine the seventh principle, accepting vulnerability. Ever been reluctant to tell someone you love your genuine emotions? Opening anything can be terrifying, particularly if you fear about misinterpretation or rejection. Early in their marriage, both Sarah and Jake battled this. Initially reserved, Sarah thought that if she let her guard down, she would expose herself to possible suffering once more, as she had been harmed in the past. But as their relationship grew, she realized only vulnerability would allow for real closeness. You know, I really care about you, but I feel like we're not totally connecting, Jake said. Realizing Sarah was holding back after a taxing day, he turned to her and said, You know, I really care about you. I want you better. I need you open to me. This honest moment dissolved the walls between them. Understanding Jake was sharing her own, not merely her sensitivity. Sarah had a flood of emotions. She found the confidence to talk in that safe environment about her previous heartbreaks, future ambitions and concerns. Think back to a time you shared something personal with someone. Release of that weight felt like we exchange people to embrace vulnerability as well as ours. It creates a setting of genuineness and confidence where love could blossom. Opening out lets Sarah find a notable shift in their relationship. Their bond deepens and their conversations get increasingly passionate. Vulnerability is a manner of expressing, I trust you with my heart. It helps us actually see one other. But vulnerability is about expressing happiness and excitement as much as it is about sharing sadness. Consider how often you hide your gratitude or love. Always reluctant to share with someone how much they mean to you. 
In those instances, you are wasting a chance to deepen your relationship. Motivational tools enable you to share with your loved ones your vulnerabilities. Start small maybe by stating a goal or a worry. You might find it surprising how open you are pushing folks to be in return. Every sensitive moment you experience creates love and trust on a mosaic in your relationship. Embracing sensitivity? Sarah and Jake discovered the beauty of really knowing one another. From casual conversations, their love evolved into a solid, relentless partnership. This concept helps us to realize that vulnerability is a tool rather than a weakness that enhances understanding and relationships. Chapter 8. Develop Resilience Let us now look at the seventh principle, resilience building. Life is full of ups and downs. Our reactions to challenges will profoundly influence our relationships. From internal struggles to outside events trying their love, Sarah and Jake faced their fair share of obstacles. After months of dating, Sarah lost her job, which sent waves of self-doubt and anxiety. She felt overburdened and struggled with her future. Instead of shutting down, she got in touch with Jake who had also had personal challenges. She remarked, tears in her eyes, I have no idea how to deal with this. I feel as though I am disappointing you. Having experienced his own failures, Jake told Sarah that sometimes she was supposed to feel aimless. Although everyone suffers, what counts is our reaction. Let's address this together, he murmured, giving her a sympathetic ear. Together they developed a plan whereby Sarah would update her resume and Jake would assist her network-wise. Sarah came to see her job loss as a stepping stone towards something better, not as something defining her. This event marked a sea change for both of them. Consider your own experiences. Has a significant barrier ever arisen in a relationship? Maybe it was a family crisis, emotionally or even financially challenging moment. Resilience is about negotiating those storms together and emerging on top. When Sarah and Jake focused on resilience, they not only survived, but also deepened their relationship. They acknowledged small successes, including successful interviews and networking contacts. This group endeavor enhanced their bonds to one another and promoted harmony. When you next face a difficult task, Rely on your partner or loved ones rather than withdraw into your shell. Share your challenges. Together, create ideas and support one another. This cooperative approach can make challenges. Opportunities for personal development. Negotiating their challenges. Sarah and Jake came to see that resilience is about evolving together rather than merely about rebounding back. Their experiences allowed them learn that frequently the furnace of struggle creates real love. Chapter 9. Practice Gratitude Let us now review the ninth principle, gratitude. Though Sarah and Jake found in their relationship the great power of thanks, we sometimes take our loved ones for granted, especially in hurried or demanding conditions. Instead of feeling annoyed, Jake chose to show his gratitude for Sarah. One day she appeared disconnected. She was so focused on her work that the spark in their relationship felt faded. Jake planned a beautiful dinner together, full of her favorite food and a long conversation. Think about the small things your partner does every day cooking, helping you or just being there to listen. Gratitude is a strong feeling that can influence our view of our relationships. When was the last time you showed thanks for your partner? Jake and Sarah developed the habit of saying what? They were grateful for every night before bed. This small act not only raised their spirits, but also strengthened their emotional connection. This helps you to create a nice atmosphere in your relationship. Think about how gratitude could change your perspective. Instead of concentrating on what is lacking or incorrect, Pay attention to the good aspects of your relationship, a kind gesture, a shared laugh, or just company comfort. Imagine how wonderful it would be 
to spend every day. Moments with your partner sharing such experiences. This habit helps to establish love and a caring environment whereby both spouses feel valued as they embraced thankfulness. Sarah and Jake found their love blossomed in unexpected ways. Their relationship became a cause of delight and hope that would enable them to gently and sympathetically negotiate life storms. This idea tells us that given appreciation and respect, love develops. Chapter 10. Live in the present moment. The ninth principle is living in the present. One often gets caught in regrets about the past or worries about the future. Jake battled this, often obsessing over their relationship and worried about what might go wrong. Turning to Jake one day, she saw he was quite quiet during their trekking together. What's on your mind? She said. He said he was scared about his future and the path their relationship was taking. What would happen should we not last? His voice was tight when he said this. Living in the present, Jake had a flash in sight and realized he could truly enjoy the love they shared. Whether it was on a hike, cooking dinner, or just curling on the sofa, they vowed to specifically focus on enjoying their time together. Living in the present lets you totally enjoy the pleasures and challenges of life. It's about appreciating the little things like a peaceful moment shared or a chuckle shared. Imagine your own life and how often you find yourself fixating on the future or fixating on past. Mistakes. Living in the now helps Sarah, Jake build lifetime experiences meant to improve their relationship. Their emotional connection deepened as they became more sensitive to one another's wants and aspirations. Their love was blossoming as they embraced the now, think about how you might include mindfulness into your relationship. Clear away distractions, store your phones, and genuinely interact with one another. This intentional presence deepens love and connection by creating a rich tapestry of shared events. Living in the present, Sarah and Jake found joy in every moment. They came to see that loving is about valuing the daily experiences that create lifetime memories rather than merely about the significant turning points, not merely a philosophy as Alex learned. Stoicism is a way of life that may affect every aspect of your life, including your love life. Therefore, pay great attention to these principles and see how you develop to be more productive fulfilled and attractive said differently thank you for watching till next time